let me tell you something. You guys just watched me wing that recipe for the sausage gravy and biscuits. And these got to be some of the best biscuits I've ever ate. Getting ready to try something here. And if it fails, it fails. I literally don't think that it will, but we never know. So a friend of mine was telling me that they were going to make 7-Up Biscuits. And that's a really simple recipe. It's made with Bisquick, 7-Up, usually sour cream, and I think a little bit of butter. Um, Bisquick, by the way, you can make yourself. It's way cheaper than buying it. So if you don't know how to make that, I believe that it's just flour, baking soda, and butter. Um, you can look the recipe up online though, but anyways, um, there's also a lot of recipes online for the 7-Up Biscuits. They're really easy to make, they don't require any yeast, and they are really, really good. So, anyways, there are other things you could use outside of 7-Up. Um, really, anything that's carbonated, that's really what it is. The, the carbonated water is what is the leavening agent in these biscuits. But my friend was like, well, what can I use if I don't have 7-Up? You could use carbonated water. You could use some other kind of pop. Um, ginger ale. Um, there's all kinds of... You could use Coke or Pepsi if you wanted to. Um, but I'm going to try to do it with just what most people have in their cupboards. Except for, I'm out of sour cream. And when you are out of sour cream, a direct replacement for sour cream is yogurt a lot of people don't know that so there's a tip i'm going to give you anyways i'm going to make this for just me so a lot of the recipes are making it for like a family of four so i've cut this recipe down into what i think is going to work i'm going to use about one cup of flour you can tell that my measuring cup is not level but if i leveled it out it's probably going to be about one cup I'm going to add, this is a quarter cup of Greek yogurt. Oh, uh, I need my phone mount. Hold on just a minute. <laughs> Much better. So, a quarter cup of the Greek yogurt. Any problems getting this out of the measuring cup? I'm going to have it everywhere before it's all said and done. Anyways, there's our Greek yogurt. I'm going to do just a little bit of butter. Maybe about a tablespoon. Something like that. That's not quite a tablespoon. All right. Then I'm going to use about one tablespoon of baking soda. One tablespoon. That's what's going to be our leavening agent for this. Probably way too much, but I want it to be more instead of not enough. Then I'm going to use just about a drop or two of lemon juice. Lemon juice is kind of going to give you that almost like, like it's a 7-Up taste, you know, 7-Up is basically kind of like lemon lime, right? So I put that in a little one tablespoon, but I really only want about one or two drops, which is going to be hard to do because, eh, figures. Oh, well, at this point, might as well just put it all in there. <laughs> you see how I do this I do this every time I cook I just make it up as I go alright now for water we want it to be just enough to form a dough so I'm going to go ahead and mix this up before I add the water in there because there was the Greek yogurt which is somewhat moist and there's the butter which I probably should have melted and all right that's probably good enough now we're going to add some water I didn't know how much I was going to need I actually measured out a half cup but I don't think I'm going to need that much
Definitely going to need just a little bit more though. I don't want it to be too dry, but I don't want it to be too sticky either. So I think that I'm getting probably pretty close. I think that's probably pretty good right there. All right, next thing you're going to, going to want to do is take you some butter and get you a baking dish. The bottom of it greased as you can see I put it out with a spoon and then I just take a paper towel and I want this to be probably more butter than I would normally use just because it will soak into these biscuits any excess so there we got that. Then we're going to take our dough and we are going to form this into balls. I guess you probably could. It's probably too wet to actually roll out. So I'm just going to, I probably should have put some flour on my fingers. I'm just going to like make it into four balls. I ain't even going to worry so much about forming it into biscuits. Next, we're going to stick this in the oven. 425 degrees for probably, I'm guessing, 10 or 12 minutes. All right, so getting ready to make some sausage gravy. And I always keep, this is a uh, powdered milk. I always stick it in a Folgers container to keep it fresh. And then I just stick the label on there, the part that I need uh, that has the directions. But anyways, it's one cup of water, one third cup of powdered milk. Now this is great to have on hand for when you accidentally run out of milk. But you still need to cook something that has milk in it. And we are going to make some sausage biscuits and gravy. Hopefully if those biscuits turn out. So let me get this mixed up and then I'll add the flour to it. So I've got the powdered milk in the water. Now I'm going to add some flour. I usually do it with a tablespoon. But I'm just going to add this in here probably about two tablespoons worth get it stirred up And uh, now we're ready for making the brown on the sausage. And hopefully the power stays on because it's like minus 35 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Go ahead and give the milk and flour, a stir. My 
might need to turn that heat up a little bit, but I'm trying not to. So I guess, um, what is today? Today I think is December 23rd, yes. Um, so last night we had that storm. hit that where the temperature dropped like 40 degrees in like three hours and they're actually saying that it's a blizzard we got quite a bit of snow uh, more than I expected we probably got three inches of snow out here the wind has just been crazy all night long so anyways I have this um, thermometer indoors and I have these two remote sensors that are in my basement because my basement's unheated. And so I got these remote thermometer sensors down in my basement to kind of let me know when I need to worry about the pipes freezing. And literally my basement right now is 24 degrees. So I'll tell you what I've been doing. Maybe just a little bit longer. So this will be 18 minutes. So what I've been doing, I've actually been running my dryer like every other hour because my dryer vent runs through the basement to the exterior wall. So that little bit of heat transfer from the dryer actually runs right by where the water pipes are at. But it's literally 24 degrees in my basement right now. And I've got to get breakfast, get out there, turn my heat on. I've got like an electric heater. I've also got a propane one, but I'll probably just use the electric. Um, and then I've been taking and running my water faucets. And so I've been every other hour, I've been running the dryer for a full cycle. And then... I go around to every bathtub, I turn the water on, hot and cold for 30 seconds, I flush every toilet, and then I turn every sink hot and cold on for 30 seconds. And uh, that's basically what I've been doing since I think it started around 3.30 this morning, and it's about 9 a.m. now. But I'm dreading going outside, it's supposed to be like, when I... When I first looked at the temperature, it was minus 8 degrees on the thermometer. And then they're saying with the wind chill, it's like minus 35, which is just crazy. So, sausage gravy's done. Let me move this off. Let's check out these biscuits. And that's what they look like. Nom, nom, nom. Anyways, so I'm pretty confident this worked. Let's tear one of these open and look. Oh, yeah. I think we're going to be good. So, yeah. If you don't have 7-Up and you want to keep that same 7-Up-ish kind of taste with the lemon-lime. Now, normally I have limes, but I was actually out. And uh, so I basically just... You know, showed you the recipe. I just kind of winged it. So whenever you're out of something, the important thing is there's always a substitute. And sometimes you just have to use your mind and think about it. Like, what what is in 7-Up? Well, it's carbonated water, so I can get that with water and baking soda. And then it's got lemon and lime, so I added a little bit of lemon. Then I was out of uh, milk. So I always keep powdered milk. I have powdered milk now for the sausage gravy. And then I was also out of sour cream, which is needed for these 7-Up biscuits. So I just used Greek yogurt, and it turned out fine. Anyways, thanks for watching. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homestead.